What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So today's video is gonna be a modeling tutorial where we model a cabin with some glass built into the shape of the cabin. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so it's been a minute since I've done like modeling tutorials of specific conditions. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this or not, but um, it's kind of fun sometimes to just like pick a shape and just work on it. And specifically I'm focusing on, um, these are just images from Pinterest, but I'm focusing on these kind of like cabin shapes that are very simple um, that have like this glass or this storefront kind of in the middle of them, right? So like this one, for example, has your cabin shape and then it's got storefront kind of built into that. And I wanted to show you a quick, easy way to create that kind of condition. So um, we are gonna use extensions. Um, usually I do use extensions when I'm making videos like this. So we are in the pro version. Okay, and so I'm gonna move my default model out of the way, but I like to keep it just for scale um, because it is modeled to scale. And so I'm just gonna tap the R key and the right arrow key to lock my rectangle tool to this red axis. And in this case, we're going to type in the width, which is gonna be 20 feet, comma, 12 feet, and hit the enter key. And then we're just gonna draw a line up um, to whatever we want the uh, final height to be. I'm gonna say this is gonna go up six additional feet um, just so we have something to kind of start from. And I'm just gonna erase this. And all we're doing is we're just getting to a point where we have the space where we can actually start working on our storefront. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this a component. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode. So, so M, tap control to go into copy mode like this. And now we've got our base cabin shape, right? And so what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to rough out our flat shape so we can use an extension in order to quickly generate that storefront. And in this case, what I would do is I would double click in here. I would select this face. I would and I would do a control C to copy it, and then I would click out of this component. And in this situation, I would just do an edit, paste in place right here. And so when I do an edit, paste in place, what that does is that actually places a copy of this, uh, this face outside of this object right here. And um, by the way, if you do wanna learn more about how to use SketchUp, you can check out my SketchUp Essentials course, which I'll link to in the notes down below, or you can go to the SketchUp Essentials course where I talk about more modeling methods, kinda like this one. Um, but in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna double click in order to pick up all of the exterior edges, and then I'm gonna do a shift click to deselect my face. And what I'm doing is I'm using the move tool in copy mode to create an array of copies between these two points. So in this situation, I want to move my mouse and click. So I use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy and then I'm gonna type in forward slash and four and hit the enter key. So this is gonna create four equally spaced copies, right? So one, two, three, four, right here. And so now we've got our general shape in here, what I wanna do is I want to come in here and I want to just uh, quickly model out my edges that I'm going to use in order to um, make up the storefront, the storefront mullion pieces in here. So what you can do is you can right click and click on divide. That's gonna give me some inference points in here. And I just wanna draw an edge across here like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw one across the bottom as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode. So I'm just gonna copy this up, type in times two and hit the enter key. And what I can do is I can select all of this, right? And I wanna make sure that I don't actually pick up these edges that are in here. I just want this right here, but then I can use the move tool in copy mode and copy these across like this. One thing you are gonna to wanna to do is right click and click on reverse faces in order to have this face facing outward. But then we're gonna do the same thing on the roof, right? So divide. And in this case, we're gonna divide this into two. And then I'm just gonna draw a line across like this, draw a line across like this. And again, all I'm doing is I'm getting those faces for our extension to work with. So we can do the same thing over here, just right click and divide, draw a line. There may be an extension in JHS power bar that can break these faces up. I'm gonna have to go look at that because I'm not 100% sure. But what I wanna do now is I wanna come in here and first off, I wanna erase out these edges and I wanna make sure that there's not a face in here that I can accident accidentally pick up. See, there is one right here that you can kind of see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete out this bottom edge so there's no face there. And so now if we were to select these two and hide them, 
like this, you can see how we're basically left with this flat shape with a grid on it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an extension you can find in the Sketchication plugin store called Lattice Maker. So if you go into the Sketchication extension store, and if you don't have this, you need to download it from Sketchication and install it. But we're looking for a tool called Lattice Maker from TIG. I use this tool all the time. You want to download and install this. And what Lattice Maker does is it allows us to select an object like this one. And then under extensions, Lattice Maker, you can pop up this window right here. One thing I would note, we shouldn't have any problems here, but it's a good idea to go ahead and save before you run this. So if I do a file, I'm gonna save this. And so once we've done that, what we can do is we can select this, go up to extensions and click on Lattice Maker. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to create a lattice for each one of these surfaces. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna offset them in and then extrude. And that's going to create kind of like a mullion condition as well as a glass pane. And I'm gonna go ahead and make these two wide just so we can see what that's going to do. Um, but you can click on this drop down right here to select the color of the lattice as well as the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And notice how when I run that now, what that's doing is that's coming in here and that's generating a lattice using these surfaces right here. Now, one thing I don't like about this though is the mullions are too wide, especially in the middle right here. So what I would do is instead of running that with two inches, I would just adjust it so that my width is one inch, my depth is one inch, and actually you might keep your depth at two inches and keep your pane inset. That's gonna inset these in a little further. But now if I click on this, notice how those lattices are gonna be a lot narrower. Um, so now I've got this lattice in here um, with this simple storefront. And then if I do an edit, unhide, all, you can see how I've got the two end pieces in here as well. So if you do want to learn more about how to use SketchUp to model, make sure you check out my course. Um, on this video format, I'm kind of thinking about doing more videos like this, but I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these more workflow videos? As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.